Casper, welcome to the Forschervet of Henko in Düsseldorf, a laboratory for little researchers. What is your assessment of Q2 2011? Overall, the second quarter was a solid quarter. It was characterized by a very strong competition and high pressure on our input cost. We achieved strong growth of more than 6% to almost 4 billion. We hit more than half a billion in EBIT and reached a 13% EBIT margin. And again, we achieved double digit growth rates in our emerging regions. How did the individual business sectors perform? It was good to see that all three business sectors contributed to these numbers. On laundry and home care, we saw a recovery coming back to growth on the top line, but also on EBIT, driven by price and volume. And this was the first time we increased price since 2009. For our cosmetics and toiletries business, we continue the direction that we've seen in the previous quarters, strong revenue growth and strong EBIT growth. And for our adhesive business, again, we saw strong revenue growth and strong EBIT growth, driven by a mix of volume growth and price increases. And lastly, we saw two of our business groups, our cosmetics and toiletries business and our adhesive business, achieve a margin in the second quarter of 14%. Can you confirm the existing outlook for the current year? Yes, I can confirm the outlook for the existing year. Originally, uh, we guided revenue growth of 3 to 5%. We're right now saying 5% revenue growth, so very strong revenue growth. We're also guiding a margin target of 13%, which we originally set, and we've also reconfirmed our target of the 14% for 2012. Another often discussed topic these days, what is actually going to happen after 2012? Let me first be very clear. The first priority we have is to hit our targets for 2012. In parallel to this, uh, we have started a project called Galileo more than three quarters of a year ago that looks upon what is the strategy of the group for the next five to ten years. Looking into the mega trends when it comes to regional growth, portfolio growth, etc., that will help define our strategy. But I want to make clear here is also that the core of our you know, company will continue to be good people, strong bands, and strong innovation. The actual targets for what will happen after 2012 will be communicated by the end of 2012. So we're working hard on it. We know everybody are interested. But let's hit the 2012 targets and also acknowledge we are very, working very hard on our long-term strategy. Diversity is currently widely discussed in a number of markets. Hank already has a leading position, but what are the objectives for the coming years? As a global company, diversity is immensely important for us. Diversity in three dimensions, age, gender, and nationality or internationality, if you will. Today, we have more than 110 different nationalities working for Henkel. And alone here at the headquarters, we have more than 50 nationalities. On the gender side, today we have 30% female managers, and it is our objective to continue to increase the share of not only international managers, but also female managers in the years to come. Thank you, Casper. Thank you.